Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have polishes to share with you all from Great Lakes Lacquer. There are six polishes in total. Three of them are in honor of the anniversary for Great Lakes Lacquer. So they've been in business for nine years. It is a trio of polishes, so you can buy them individually for $13.50, or you can get them as a trio for $33. And then there are three other polishes. Um, these are inspired by the men in Mariah's life, special men in Mariah's life. Mariah is the maker of Great Lakes Lacquer. And they're all a gorgeous, gorgeous cherry-based polish, but all different and unique in their own ways. That trio of polishes is also the same pricing point. This is going to be a pre-order, so shop is going to open July 15th, and it's going to close the 29th. Now, turnaround time is going to be 15 to 21 days, so just keep that in mind. Mariah said she may start shipping orders a little bit earlier than the closing shop date, but it's not a guarantee. So if, you know, you may get your polishes a little bit earlier, but that 15 to 21 days is just like an average for everybody to reference. Now, all of these polishes are lovely and gorgeous. I can't wait to share them. Let's get into it. First up, we have Love at Great Lakes Lacquer. And Mariah said um, that every show that she's ever went to, um, she got a Love at as a bag stuffer contribution changes burning away the traditions and patterns that don't serve you and putting in new ones um, so this one is described as a flame red filled with a um, red to orange to gold shifting shimmer this is like literal lava on the nails like this is the first polish that i swatched and i'm like whoa i was like whoa this is glorious this is bright this is in charge this is fiery you literally have a melting lava on your nails i love red polish that has a tint of orange in there a drop of orange i just feel like that looks great on me um, and i prefer those sorts of sh red shades sometimes you can definitely see that orange to gold shifting shimmer at the angles right here but man this base is just it's definitely a flame filled red for sure long or short nails two coats is going to be perfectly fine for you honestly like one coat was just fantastic but i'm used to doing my two coats so i'm just going to say two thin coats you can you can rock it on one coat if you really really wanted to pictured our two coats of love at great lakes lacquer with a, with a glossy top coat here we have almost a decade of shenanigans. Don't ever say shenanigans are dead. This is a beautiful glowy polish. Um, this is a linear holographic with a blue to purple shifting shimmer. Goodness, look at this. Look at that first swipe. I must say Great Lace Lacquer has always done and it still always does glowy polishes very, very well. I ended up building this up in two coats. I think longer short nails, two to three coats will work best for you. The hollow is just so intense and i know that you can't see this and maybe I, I should include a clip of me showing it off in like lower lighting when i was swatching these um the sun was going down so i couldn't capture it in the sun but i captured it with daylight and my goodness it was beautiful um, you can definitely see the blue and the purple shifting in here i love how on extreme angles it almost looks like a nude polish this is just another glorious glorious polish all right here's a clip from my phone i just had to show it off to you guys because you can see the hollow you can see the glow factor everything just like oh my god it just doesn't even look real on the nails and this is not any sunlight this is just direct um, light i have a big window behind me and it's just daylight like leaking in onto my hands Ugh, it is glorious pictured our two coats of almost a decade of shenanigans with a glossy top coat Next up, we have Tears to Nine Years, and Great Lace Lacquer has been around for nine years, which is amazing and such a great accomplishment, and I hope they keep thriving and they keep growing and continue in business because uh, Mariah makes some beauties for sure. This is a linear holographic with a bronze to pale gold shifting shimmer. So similar to the previous one we saw, but this one has that bronze and that pale gold shifty shimmer. I built it up in two coats. I think long or short nails, two to three coats will work best for you. Now this has a heaping amount of that bronze to pale gold shifting shimmer. I know I've mentioned this a couple times before that I'm not the biggest fan of gold shimmer. It just needs to be placed strategically in a polish and with the right other components. But I'm so happy with this one and I am loving the gold and the bronze shifting shimmer in here. We have this, this silvery background and then you mix it in with that bronze and gold shifty shimmer and it's so stunning. This is another one that looks fantastic 
in daylight and I bet it's going to look fantastic in direct sunlight as well. Pictured are two coats of tears to nine years with a glossy top coat. Here we have the Heroes tri uh, Trio. So this is the Heroes of Lake Huron, um, Anthony. This one is a cherry red base filled with a pink to orange gold shifting shimmer. My son's name is Anthony. So this one is like very special to me, even though I know it's not named after him, but it has his name in it. So this one was another bright and bold shade. I was like, whoa, look at that first coat. Um, I did apply a second coat. Um, it's not quite, quite a one coater. It can definitely use that second coat just to sort of build up that beautiful cherry base. Um, so I think long to short nail, long or short nails, two coats will be best for you. Where we can see the beautiful pink and the orange and the gold shifting shimmer. This one is just, whew, like so dazzling. This is a polish you want to wear on a date night when you are feeling sassy, when you are, you know, wanting to wear something bright and bold, like just wow. Now I'm not certain about staining and all of that. I didn't keep them on long enough to really tell. Usually how I can tell is if when I'm removing the polish, it gets stuck on the cuticles, um, but I had no issues with surprising any, surprisingly any of these polishes with any sort of like like difficulty of the polish sticking onto my cuticle line or um, onto my skin so it might stain i'm assuming it might stain your nail bed just a little bit because these colors are so bright and bold but i don't think based off of my quick swatch and removal that it's going to be messy whatsoever pictured are two coats of the heroes of lake heron anthony with a glossy top coat Next up is the Heroes of Lake Hearn Danny. This is another cherry red base um, with beautiful shifts of bronze, gold, green, blue, and purple at the extreme. Again, fantastic formula. You can see here on that first coat, not quite, quite a one coater. Um, you wanna really build up the, the, the depth of the, the polish and really add into the shimmer and the components and all of that. So two coaters for sure for everybody, long or short nails. This shimmer, it doesn't say that it's large particle. I just think there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot, okay? We can see the purple. We can see definitely bronze and gold. Um, I see purple and pink at like the edges of my nails. I know it says extreme angles, which I guess it is an extreme angle, but we're mostly staring at that gold and that bronze and the beautiful twinkle and sparkle of this. Another bright, bold, and in charge polish. Picture two coats of the heroes of Lake Her and Danny with a glossy top coat. Here we have the last Heroes polish, the Heroes of Lake Hearn, and this is Devon. This is a cherry red base with an aqua to indigo to purple shifting shimmer. So again, beautiful coverage on that first coat, but I'm gonna recommend two coats for everybody to really build up the base and the shimmer in here. Two coats is all you're gonna need for long or short nails. You're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful opaque look. Now we have a lot of indigo to purple shifting shimmer in here. Are we surprised? I'm not because it's Great Lakes Lacquer and they do shimmer and glow perfect, like perfectly to the T. So if you love pink, I think you're really, really going to enjoy this one. It's definitely a like warmer red leaning pink because you have that cherry base. And then of course that beautiful aqua to indigo to purple shifting shimmer is the star of the show. It is bright and glowy and just so beautiful. Pictured our two coats of the Heroes of Lake Huron, Devon with a glossy top coat. All right, everybody, those polishes were stunning. I was really having a difficult time trying to pick favorites. And for a little while, I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick a, pick favorites, but I dwindled it down to three, okay? Not that I didn't enjoy the other polishes, I did, but I forced myself to pick three. One of them being almost a decade of shenanigans. I absolutely love this. I loved it in lower lighting, not usually out and about in the sun, either I'm at work, inside a building all day, or at home. Um, and I loved being able to see the hollow and just uh, the shade, everything about this was just so glowy and just stunning. You can see the hollow in the bottle right here. And I'm working with no sun, I have a window right here and then just like my ring light. Second one being Love at Great Lakes Lacquer. It's just a beautiful, beautiful bright orange red shade. The shimmer and the sparkle is so intense and I really enjoyed this one. 
And then of course, I'm going to choose the Heroes of Lake Huron. This is Anthony. My son's name is Anthony, so it was just a given. But really, this polish is another gorgeous one. It's cherry based, just like the, the other two. And it has that gorgeous pink shimmer in there. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of these are stunning, honestly. All right, everybody, that is all that I have for you today. Let me know if you plan on picking up any of these polishes. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next one.